this is such a spur of the moment. Let's start to vlog. I but forgot TJ to welcome and I, my shelf in. Ah, this is Shay's on here. Oh, well, God. I don't know if you want to be in it. TJ and I. I'm in it oh, enough. Nice right there. Boom, there I am. TJ Just and a I are me. putting in Monopoly codes, and we initially tried with me just, I'm trying to say it out loud so he can just type it in without stopping to read. And we got so just fed up. This process yeah. longer. <laughs> we got so fed up with trying to figure out what the codes were that we figured we have to make like words for each letter instead. And I had to stop and start recording because it was just so funny. Oh, we got a plum. A plum's worth okay. five tokens. Toes nine. Kangaroo houses. KW. We know we're not using words. Oh, sorry, kangaroo woman. Faraz 73. Oh, that's the word we use penis for. <laughs> why yodel? Wait, are you saying why is in the letter why? Y? Yodel. Are you no. asking me why? <laughs> like W H Who yodel? <laughs> okay, so H Y. No, damn it. W. <laughs> I can spell. Four zoos. <laughs> Your offer, what is that? Wait, 50? What? Toes 9, yep. Zoo Zoos. Today we are back at the mall because I screwed up last week and I thought the Easter Bunny was going to be here, but he's not. He's coming today. No, I, I have my Easter. Yeah, you That's look so beautiful. And, just, and maybe you let me bring Jack. He did. He bought it here. We bought it where? Here. I don't remember where we got that. Are you excited? Yeah. There's like a thousand egg Easter egg hunt. They get to eat, eat meat, the Easter bunny. Like I said, we came here last week already and got the date wrong, so I had to make it up to her today. Yeah, we went to a different I don't remember. Was that the day that I brought you to see Wonderland? Because I felt bad. I don't remember. It's actually really convenient that we're here because Sorry, I got distracted. It's nice that we're here because we gotta go to the children's place too. Everything is closed, baby. It's still uh, early. Oh, I thought you, I thought you tripped. You scared me. Hey, baby. <gasps> Ella. Again, on oh, of never mind. Lily. Sorry. I thought that buddy. orange tag was you. I think the, uh, come here, baby. I think the curtains would be a good Anyone place to hide them. These would be good spots, but I don't see any. She went directly to the toy section <laughs> to look for eggs. Okay. Let's, um, honey, we got it. Baby, we're finding an open bag of <laughs> lace strips. It's beautiful. We're not getting that today. For your birthday, you can ask. It's beautiful, though. Come on, girlfriend. Okay. Gotta keep looking. Find an egg? Look, no, we're not looking. <laughs> come on. Ella, come here. Did they say upper level? That's because they're upstairs. Yeah, that's come on. Upper level. Upper level. Upper level. Upper level. Upper level. Upper level. Upper I didn't know that they were upstairs, and then I just heard the announcement. They'd be up here somewhere. Well, over here. Okay, go look. Did you? Oh, good job! Thanks. Okay, put it in your basket. We gotta go find more. Come on, baby. This way. Ella. You got it. Look. Look what I found. Look what I found. Let's look over here. Anything? What the heck? No, no, that's. A, I thought so too, but it's just a bathtub. Um. You know what I thought you said? Nice job! Oh my goodness! Nice! Let's keep looking. Any more? Let's see, any more? Yeah. Let's see, let's see. I don't see any more over here. Let's keep looking. That was a lot of fun. We're currently in the bathroom hallway real quick for a pit stop. She's grabbing some water. We got a ton of eggs, Miss Ella. We found a whole bunch of them and we're gonna open them in the car. The mall doesn't officially open until 10, so we have about a half hour to kill. Um, like I said, I need to go to the children's store anyways and get her a new pair of tights. The one that she's wearing has some slime on it. Um, so in the meantime, yeah, a little bit broken. We're gonna go get uh, run a Dunkin's because they're open. 
I'm gonna go get her a donut or something. Hi. Now we can't even see you anymore, silly. See me now. Guys, can you see me? About 15 more minutes till it opens. I just need a pair of tights. Two candies. I go throw the candies back in here, right? We're gonna dump out all your eggs. Okay, we'll put the candies in here. So we oh, got some. Oh, a green one. Tussie rolls. Oh, two candies. Oh, two more candies. Oh, oh. grab that. The big giant one. Oh, those are Swedish fish. I like those. You'll like them. These oh, are yeah, the, the sour berries. <laughs> nerds. Chocolate and tussie rolls and bubble gum. Those out. Even more. What? <laughs> In every single egg you got candy? That's what you're telling me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, that is so much candy. So as you can hear, the rest of our day, <laughs> um, our plans have been a little bit altered. To be honest, I was just gonna go grocery shopping and go get Arrow his shots. But I don't want to bring her out. It's like torrential downpour. Somebody's not paying attention. <laughs> this is why I thought maybe we shouldn't grocery yeah, shop today. Look at this so small little bunny. Cute little bunny. Oops. <laughs> but we're about to go eat at Mr. Max Mac and Wait, Cheese. Where do we go? We got it. There it is! It just hopped out! You guys have never been to a Mr. Max before. They basically get served on these skillets. So Ella and I always just get one split and I get her a little extra plate. This one is a pulled pork mac and cheese. So here, this is a present from Santa. From Santa? Oh, it's chocolate milk from Santa. Okay. You ready to go, girlfriend? This way! <laughs> Riley, good job. Okay, you can get Jackson's. Good job, Princess. Look at I got. We're at the mall, but I don't know if you can see behind me. Play outside over there. That that is. Can I explain to them what that is, and I'll tell you too. That right there. Oh, we found prime parking. Yes. That is a carnival. A carnival is coming to town. Um, just for a and couple days. I will find a own color changing horses. <laughs> okay. I will um, find an ice horse. But that little, there's like a temporary amusement park coming. And I think it's going to be this Thursday. Yesterday was actually Easter, by the way. And I didn't record Easter. This was the first year that I didn't. And I really, I had a really emotional day. I don't know what was up with me, but I was a total wreck. And that can be so uncomfortable to come on camera and like cry. Like I know some people don't like that. So, you know, unless there's something to really talk about, I don't come on the camera if, if I come on camera if I'm crying. Um, but, but yeah, yesterday was Easter. So we pretty much did, you know, just visited family all day yeah, today. But... Right now I need some eyelashes and we need to go get some lunch before grocery shopping. So that's why we're here. But I just wanted to show you guys real quick that that was coming because we're probably going to film that. That might actually be in this vlog. We'll see. Just stop at um, Lush real quick. They have Mother's Day stuff coming. Look, and I got a new It's a baby full you. I have a different oh. hand. It's a fort. It keeps wanting to focus on the background, so it keeps making me really dark. <laughs> but. Okay. That's good. I'm just waiting for my food now. Again, I am gonna go back for the Mother's Day stuff, but I couldn't resist. So let me show you real quick. So we got this. Baby, can you pull that for me, honey? Can you pull that off for me? Ah, the Pirates of the Caribbean bath bomb. Are you kidding me? It's, it's so cute. Chest. It is. I love it. Mama loves pirates. So I couldn't resist, but super cute. Yeah. <gasps> Buddy, it's okay, honey. I got a little guy with me today. Yeah. Hi, honey. What's the matter, baby? We're going to go get your shots today, yeah. baby. So that way you can... Yeah. This cat is so loud. We're 
on our way to Petco. We're on our way to Petco right now to go get his shots done so that way he can he can go outside, go chase the little birdies and mice. This meow though. All right guys, I know the last time you saw me, I was with Arrow in my car. Right now we are in a tanning salon and I haven't gone tanning in 10 years. But yeah, right but here Arrow, is the tanning machine. And yeah, and Arrow wa didn't want to go outside. Yeah, she's... we tried bringing Arrow outside and he was a little scared. So we're going to try that again in a couple of days. But we'll try uh, every day when, until he's when he, Yeah, when, when he's grown, he never gets scared. Do um. Well, I mean, adults get scared too. I get scared. But it would when you... But I don't. You don't get scared? No. Just a second ago, you were scared of the tanning bed. What? <laughs> Just a second ago, you were afraid of this noise. This yeah. thing and the noise that it makes. Um, right? Yeah. That's really scary. I, um, like I said, I haven't tanned since probably high school, and I've just kind of wanted to get back into it. I'm not a big fan of, like, the beds. A, I don't like lying there, and also, I just think spray, spray tanning is a little bit better for you. Um, but I'm an idiot, and I forgot my makeup wipes in the flipping car. So, yeah, I just went in a spray tan with foundation on, which means my face is probably not going to match my body. But that's okay, because I need a new foundation anyway. <laughs> I know, but oh, okay. Arrow wanted to go back inside, and yeah, he, right. and this cute puppy is an Easter bunny. All right, do puppy. we have all your stuff? Yep. All right, Here. I think we're good to. No, Here. you can carry it. I got my bag. You got your bag. Go ahead. We are gonna try to go to this thing. Um, it's like a kids oh. fest. We're gonna go meet my mom there. We're gonna go pick her up and we're gonna go get some lunch first. I'm pretty like dulled down because I have work a little bit later today. Um, but we're all packed up, ready to go. And we're gonna see what it's like. I don't think I've been to this one. So we're gonna see. I get scared I'm sitting of a dolphin Okay, so we just left the kids fest. Um, we're at like a garden center at the moment. My mom just went in to grab some flowers real quick for her pastor's wife. But I just had to like share something real quick because I'm like proud of myself, but my adrenaline is going. So we had parked in this parking garage and it's a very quick story. I'm gonna try to make it quick. We're parked in a parking garage and we're trying to get out. Hold on, sweetie. Yeah, hold on. Sorry about that. Um, I don't tend to vlog with with my family in the car, um, just because I don't know, you know, it's just, it's one of those things where it's like, I don't wanna make anyone feel uncomfortable, so I don't even really bother or ask. I just dropped Ella off, <laughs> don't worry. She went with my mom because I have to go to work a little bit earlier today um, than planned, so she helped me out. Um, but I just had to come on here real quick, just to share a very brief story I mean, so, so brief, and it's it's not even, like, that interesting of a story, to be honest. It's just one of those things that, like, if you had my personality, it's a big deal. <laughs> For someone who doesn't have my personality, it's not. So I get it. I get, you know, most people are gonna, I get that most people are just gonna be like, that was, like, the dumbest story ever, but it's okay. Um, so we had just gone to a kid's fest, so that's what you just saw. You know, there were, like, little pop-up venues and whatnot. I think I'm gonna try to find a place to pull over real quick because we're so bumpy. I think there's a good place up this way. Um, but anyway, so we had just gone to this kids fest and we had parked in a parking garage. Now it's one of those parking garages that you prepay before, like so you, you pull into the parking garage, you press for a ticket, you get your ticket, you go park. Before you leave, you have to take, like, you're supposed to take your ticket with you. And then when you come back, you're supposed to pay, like, on the lobby floor. And then you can walk up and go get your car and, and leave, right? So, so we did that, you know, I, I, oh, right here. Okay, we're about to pull over real quick. So we did that. We um, <clears throat> got our ticket, found parking, went to this kids' fest thing, so on and so forth. That was it, right? 
so we get back into we get back into the car I I pay we get back into the car we're driving now there's only one in and one out of this parking garage it's not like Boston where there's like four you know what I mean so it's one in one out there's a, oh I forgot I was wearing these beads that I got from the that's funny um so we pull up and we're stuck behind this like little blue car and they're at the machine for a while and I'm thinking okay either they didn't pay before they got into their car or you know they're just having some sort of issues and there's always an assistant call button on those kinds of things so I'm like all right they're probably just waiting for an assistant to come over so I'm patient you know what I mean I'm sitting here I'm talking to my mom I'm talking to Ella everything's good right car starts beeping and I'm like is it the blue car in front of me are they beeping for assistant uh, assistance like that's what me and my mom first initially thought right so they beep, nothing's happening, beep again, and I realize that it's not the car in front of me, it's the car behind me. So I'm like, there's three of us just standing in the line, not going anywhere. So I'm like, okay, why is the woman behind me beeping? Like, can she not see the person in front of me? So I'm sitting there and I'm trying to listen to my mom and I can't really concentrate because I'm, so, I'm getting so heated from the person behind me. So they beep again and I just wanted to confirm that it was the car behind me first. So I'm looking in like the little side mirror and I see her arm like doing this. So my mom's like in mid conversation. I throw my car in park. I swear, I wish I was filming. Throw my car in park. I open my door and I I ended up yelling at the car behind me. I said, where do you want me to go? I said, there's someone behind. I said, there's someone in front of me. Where do you want me to go? And she's, she yelled at her out, out her window. I don't know what she said, to be honest, because I got in my car. I didn't really want to hear what she had to say. So then I see her get out of her car and she walks over to like an assistant booth and nobody is there. So then she walks over to the car that's in front of me, still blocking traffic to see if they can help you, if she can help them. It's like, what, A, your beeping was not productive whatsoever. What did that accomplish? And B, if you're willing to get out of your car and go help these people after I've already yelled at you for beeping, there is a problem there. I was so, I was so heated. I don't know why that aggravated me. And I got back in my car and my mom was like, well, what, how, why'd you yell at them? I said, it's them beeping, not them. Like the car that we originally thought, she said, oh, She's like, oh my gosh, you got out of the car and started yelling at her. Like, I was so irritated. And honestly, my story is almost done, so we can keep going. But that is the first time I have ever done something like that. Like, got out of my car and yelled at someone for being an idiot. I was so mad. Because she was like, it was not like just like a did it beep. It was like beep, 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 beep. Like, oh that irritated the hell out of me oh my gosh I just I wanted to come on here I wanted to call TJ honestly and and just talk about it I always feel better just saying stuff out loud I already feel better my adrenaline my my heart <laughs> is um calming down a bit but guys so what the heck what is that gonna accomplish do not sit there laying on your horn if I literally have nowhere to go because the person in front of me is gonna assume that I'm the one beeping at him and I don't feel like getting yelled at because you're impatient so I've just kind of realized as I've gotten older and older like I'm tired of getting pushed around and bullied and like having people just kind of walk all over me so that is why I got out of the car and put her in her place. And when the beeping girl got out of her car, she walked over to the booth, there was nobody there, walked over to the car in front of me and helped them. Then like an assistant person also came out and like helped them too. As the girl was walking past my car to get back into the car behind me, I was staring at her out through my window. I didn't break eye contact with her and she never looked at me. I'm sorry guys, but people are more brave behind the wheel and they're more brave behind the keyboard and they're more brave than they are if I get in your you know what I mean like they feel so much more comfortable but the minute you say something to them she can't even look me in the eye but she can lay on her horn oh, where am I going oh crap I ah, you guys distracted me no I don't even know where the heck I'm going oh that was so frustrating I just had to 
I, uh, I'm proud of myself. I must say, I'm very proud of myself for saying something because old Shayna would have just sat there. <laughs> I would have just sat there and taken it, to be honest with you. Like, I wouldn't have said anything. So, oh boy, I'm growing. Ugh. And it wasn't like, I, I didn't swear at her. I didn't say anything. What I told you guys, what I said to her is what I said to her. I got out of the car and I said, where would you like me to go? There's a car in front of me. And again, I wish I knew what she said, but I didn't. So it doesn't really matter. But there's my story for today. <laughs> Getting in brawls in the parking lot or the parking garage. 